Hello and welcome to this 2000 subscribers special video. I can't believe it, but after so many years, we have finally reached 2000 and I never thought I would be here. I mean, the support you guys have been giving me for so many years is phenomenal. And you know, it made me want to keep doing what I was doing. For you to cheer me on as I go on this journey of uh, opening cases you know, back in 2015 every day, now every week for the past almost four years. It's uh, It's been crazy. And so I was thinking what kind of special video could I do for the 2000 special and I couldn't figure out what to make until I got this CSGO weapon case 2. It dropped out of my weekly drops uh, last week and then I basically knew I'm gonna make a video where I open one of every single case that I have in my storage containers and as it turns out, that's almost all of them, except for, you know, the most expensive ones. You've got the Bravos and the uh, Weapon Case 1, which are just the two of them are like £100, and there is no way that I can buy them now just to open them for a video. But I do have a lot of bangers. We've got that Weapon Case 2, which by itself is over £10. And I think about the middle point of the video, we will also have the Operation Hydra case, which at the moment is £17. I think that's by far the most expensive one. And we are going to open these cases in the order of release date, starting with the newest and going back all the way back to the oldest, which is the CSGO weapon case too. And I mean, I don't really want to make this any longer than it has to be. So let's get on to the first case. The key has been purchased. We've opened plenty of these, we open them very frequently in the recent times. Let's see if we get anything good. I mean, there is 35 cases in total. I certainly hope that I get to open at least one good skin out of them. <laughs> that would have been a hell of a start. <laughs> so close to an op chrome cannon. Another one, even. Man, that was... That was exciting. All right, on to the second case. The second newest case is the Revolution case. Again, key has been purchased. AK-47 headshot. We did get one of these before. There is nothing stopping us from getting another one. Not really that exciting of a case uh, otherwise. Let's see what we get. And another blue. Not a great start, but we have plenty to go. The next case, recoil case. Again, what uh, what interesting things out of this one? USB sprint stream, of chromatic aberration. I don't think I got any of the reds from this one, but I haven't really opened that many of uh, of the recoil cases. So, hey, let's see. We got a few uh, AK-47 ice cold though, so that's pretty cool. Maybe you get one of those. Okay, okay, get a purple. It's not too bad. Flora carnivora. Pretty solid. Unfortunately, only well worn. Case number four is Dreams and Nightmares. Let's see if we can get a nice AK 47 Nightwish out of this one. Oh, well, probably. It's gonna be another blue, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Purple number two. Not the worst, at least. Kill tested, 0.27, ah, don't really want that, not really excited about that. And now we're on to case number 5 and I think this is the first banger, it's the Operation Riptide. Again, I don't know how, but I missed that operation, I obviously played it, but I didn't, didn't buy that many of these cases and now they're going up in price ridiculously. The thing I think was most memorable for me I managed to get a drop of a glockating snack attack. I think I still play with that one. Uh, we also uh, traded up to the SSG08 Turbo Peak at times. I don't remember if I traded up to Elite Museo as well or if we dropped one, but I do, rec do remember having one of these in my inventory. But let's see, this is the first expensive one, so that's what? That's basically six pounds with one click. Let's go. Please be something good, please. Okay, Operation Riptide BI-83 Spectrum. I don't think that's uh, that's super valuable. Let's have a quick check. I'm gonna... Uh, US. How much is it worth? Oh, 50p. 
That hurts. <laughs> that really hurts. Oof. And now we go from a super expensive case to a really cheap one. The next one in the list is Snakebite, currently around 20p. And I think that this one is very underrated. I think this one is actually gonna go up in price uh, very soon. Or, well, over the next, uh, next couple of years, really. That's what I mean when I say soon, when it comes to cases. Got the AK-47 Slate, one of my favorite um, sticker craft skins. Oh, a blue. Unfortunately, just a blue. And we seem to be now flip-flopping because we had an expensive case in the form of the Riptide, we had a cheap case in the form of the snake bite, and now we're on to Broken Fang, and that's another expensive one. It's £4.21 at the moment on the Steam market. M4A1 is print stream, M4A for cybersecurity, maybe the USB is monster mashup, those will be nice. Op Exoskeleton, really nice looking skin, especially in CS2, those effects have become so much more pronounced. And of course, a whole bunch of gloves. I don't think I ever got anything good out of this, I, I really would like an M4A1 as print stream. I think I maybe traded up to the Glock Neo Noir at some point as well, because I remember having that in my inventory, but... Come on, six pounds, Jesus. All of that to just get a blue CZ75 auto in minimal wear. Oh, another six pounds down the drain. Feels bad. Next on the menu is the Fracture case. Another cheapo case, 20p, just like the snake bite. Desert Eagle print stream, AK-47 Legion of Anubis. This, is, this video is kind of making me go for a full throwback of, uh, of the cases that I've opened over the years and uh, man, did I go through a lot of blues. Locating Vogue, I think was like the best thing that we ever got out of this. I don't remember getting anything else. Oh, I saw a red start. It started with a red. Oh, another Vogue maybe, but no. Just another blue. SSG08 mainframe 001. Honestly, this looks like a skin straight out of um, one of the collections from maps. Like this would this could totally be like a train collection or a new collection skin. Uh, oh well. On to the next one. And by next one I mean Prisma 2, which is uh, currently about FTP on the market. I think this one's got some banger tanks, uh, arguably better than the Reds, in my opinion, anyway. The Mac 10 Discotheque is such a classic skin. Like I, I absolutely love this iridescent uh, finish on it. Love it. And then the Phantom Disruptor, a really lovely AK skin in, in its own right. So maybe, maybe a time for a pink. Then we got, we got the blues. Ooh. Oh, something glitched there, but oh god, oh god, this is so bad. <laughs> this is this has to be like one of the worst wares. It's gonna be like zero nine 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 zero. Hey, zero sixty nine. Nice. And now we're on to another operation case. This time it's shattered web. I am quite surprised because I believe this is the only. Uh, the only operation case which doesn't have the word operation in front of it. All the other operation cases say, you know, Operation Vanguard, Operation Breakout, Operation Hydra, etc. And this one just says Shattered Web Case. Kind of a weird thing. Op, Containment Breach, MAC-10 Stalker is what we can get out of it. Oh, each, 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 uh, each one of these is £3.18 at the moment, so not quite the cost of the newer ones. But it doesn't change anything because we are still getting a blue out of it. Ooh, G3 SG1 Black Sand. That sucks. Field tested as well, so... The bottom of the battle, really. And back down onto something cheaper, the CS20 case. I think this one is quite interesting because this one and the Shattered Web came so close to each other and they had really like polarizing op skins in them. This one, this one has the op wildfire, the other one had the containment breach, so it has this super like super red one and a super green op in, in two, con uh, two cases one after another, so quite a, I would say like a unique thing. 
uh, about the the timeline between these two. Also, MP9 Hydra. I wouldn't mind one of those. Those are pretty cool too. Come on. Also, that case looks completely different than it does on the image. Ah. We get a classic crate. But yes, uh, the, 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 the case in the inventory, like right here, it looks quite shiny, but then when you open it, it's not shiny anymore. Funky. Prisma 1 case. That's a uh, start. We're, I feel like we're starting to get to the old school cases now. Like, I think of the Prisma as an old school case now with that a M4A4 Emperor. The skin, the red skin that nobody really liked. It was kind of, uh, kind of crap for being uh, a red. I think uh, people thought much better of the op uh, Atheris, but please don't don't get me a red out of this one. Like if Gaben, if there's one case that I don't want a red out of, it's this. Ooh, thank God. AK47 Uncharted. I'm fine with that. 0 0.27 field tested. And uh, well, I suppose we'll just continue on to the next one, which is the Danger Zone case now. For these two cases to have a similar price, you know, the Prisma and the Danger Zone, it is such a bizarre thing to me because Danger Zone case has arguably one of the best AK-47 skin in it. Like, the Asimov is just such a classic and this one is, oh, just so nice. So how, how it is that this case is the same price as the, uh, as the Prisma case, where in the Prisma you have really crappy reds, I just straight up don't understand, but let's open it. Oh, more blues, more blues, more blues, more blues. Yeah, more blues. Foo bar. Pick nine foo bar. In battles card. Ew. On to the next. Horizon case. Can't go wrong with that one. About 75p on the on the market. Another banger AK-47 skin, Neon Rider. I would put it below the Asimov, but that's probably because I'm a big fan of like clean design. The CZ-75 Auto Eco, I would like one of those as well. The Oppo, that would be all right. But we're gonna get a dual bright as Shred, is uh, the truth, one, unfortunately. <laughs> Whoa! I would have, I would have preferred the other pink. But, I mean, we'll take that. Minimal wear. What's what's it worth? Let's have a quick check. No, not inspect. What is it like? Are we getting anything? Hey, sweet! 675. That must be because it's got that uh, trade-up path to uh, to the AK-47. Hey, I'll, I'll take that. That's awesome. Especially since that case is only 75p. So we've actually made money for the... First time this episode. But the show must go on and we need to open the next one and that is the clutch case. Oof. We go from like 75p down to 37 on this one and I can I can very much understand why the M4A4 Neon War is simply just not that great. The Opmortis is alright. USPS Cortex, it's a bit meh. A little bit too busy for me. Block Moonrise. Solid skin. Get me the blue. Please, just drop me the blue out of this one. Let's get on to the next exciting one. Oh, okay. Actually, never mind. Never mind. A Star Trek, a Star Trek Lock Moon Rise. Minimal wear again. I've got to check how much that's worth. And... Okay. Not, the, not, not as much as I was uh, hoping for, but we made the cost of the key back. So that's not too bad. Spectrum 2 is the next case on our agenda. Spectrum 2, Spectrum 2, Spectrum 2, AK-47 Empress, P-250, see ya later. I don't think I ever dropped anything good out of this. I think we traded up to the Empress once, and that's about it. Can we get something good? This one, I wouldn't mind getting a red out of. This one would definitely be a good red to, to get. Ah. Oof, Mac 10 Oceanic. Is it factory in you at least? Hey, at least it's factory in you. Now, before we get on to our first banger case, which is the Operation Hydra case, 
I would like to give you uh, all a big thanks for supporting my channel for so long and you know again 2000 subscribers is just a crazy number that I never thought I would reach just doing the same old stuff that I've been doing since forever and as such I would like to give away one of these AK-47 ice colds and the famous commemoration that I got out of my recent trade-up video. You know, this is like the culmination of all of the case openings that I've been doing over the past probably four years. And, you know, someone gets to keep that. It's, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, that is that minimal where Ice Cold is what we're gonna be giving away and the famous commemoration to two lucky winners. And all that I need from you is a like and a comment under my under this video really and I'll pick a winner in a separate video or um, maybe just as part of a, another weekly case opening probably the next one that uh, happens after this so make sure to uh, leave a like comment and I mean if you're not subscribed somehow please do maybe we'll reach 3000 soon and I'll do some other crazy video and with that out of the way let's get on to uh, our first sort of super hyper expensive case Oh, the Operation Hydra case. This one, mostly expensive, I believe, just from the fact that not many of them have been purchased by players. And this one was only available to purchase from the shop. So you couldn't drop it, I don't think. It was just a give It was just that the players had to buy, it, buy them with money. Ah. AK-47, Orbit Mark 1. That's a pretty... Nito skin. We've got the Onitage op. Very sick one in my opinion. I'm from from blues. I think that uh, USPS blueprint is a pretty solid one. I think it's rare to see two main play skins in the blue section, so that's quite unique, especially when there is like a lower grade um, pink in the form of the Hellfire. Ah, oh, come on! I, no, I can't. I can't hold off. Hold this off too long. Please, don't be a blue. Oh, it's a blue, but at least, at least it's DM4. Field tested. Oh, is this even worth anything? 18, 18 pound case. Boils down to three pounds. Yeah, at least we got the cost of the key, key again. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That's like 20 pounds. I'll you into the, into the drain. Oh. And basically from the Hydra case doesn't really get much better. All of the cases after this one are basically a pound or more. So they're already what I would consider, you know, high tier cases. Because opening opening one means that you need to spend the two pounds on the key and the two pounds most likely on the case itself. And well, this is the start of that. We got the AK-47 Bloodsport, M4A1 as Decimator, my current play skin for the M4A1S. The Neo, Neo Noir USB, I'm not a big fan of, again, just like the M4A4. Do we get anything good? Oh, no, we don't. We don't. It's another blue. This illegal Oxide Blaze. At least Factory New, I don't think that's, <laughs> that's really uh, selling it to me though. Yikes. So while the Spectrum case and that Deagle were not great, I mean, the glove case, six pounds. So basically twice or almost three times as much as the Spectrum case. And I believe that the only reason that this is so expensive is because of the amazing gloves that you can get out of this one. But <laughs> what are the chances, right? That we actually get anything good out of it. Well, if it, if it was good, it would have to be a set of gloves. But it isn't going to be, unfortunately. MP9 Sand Scale. That's probably like the worst skin you can get out of this. Factory New, at least, again. For six pounds, I would have expected a bit more. I would have liked a bit more than that. But, oh well. Man, six pounds. I'm, I'm so glad that I had these cases just stored up for the longest time and I didn't actually spend £108 on all of these because uh, I wouldn't have recovered financially from that. Uh, but the next case is the Gamma case which is £2.37. So we're back onto that, sort of just above £2. 
uh, two bounce section. M4A1S Mecha Industries. Op for boss. I think that's currently my play skin. M4A for a desolate space. Pretty cool. What do we get? What do we get indeed? Another blue. <laughs> this is really the answer. Oh. Come on, there has to be something good in one of these. Minimal wear. We are getting to the more expensive ones, so there should be the cooler stuff in these. We need to make our money back, like this is 180 pounds worth of cases and keys altogether. Next one of which is the Chroma 3, £2.10 currently. I really like the P250 Asimov out of this one, Chant Echoes Fire is a bit meh. I don't think there's anything else that's um, interesting to me. And of course the Chroma finish knives, which are top notch, you know. If we get a Krambit Tiger Tooth, oh, Tiger Tooth again, that would be amazing. But it is after all going to be just a, another blue. Minimal wear, oh my god, so close to Factory New as well. That sucks. And we now have made our way to another operation, this time it's Operation Wildfire. Journey continues. And this one introduced the Bowie knife. Uh, I think uh, a very polarizing knife with being the only one that was missing that second hand for the longest time. And AK-47 fuel injector, op elite build, Desert Eagle, Komiko Dragon, all very, very solid skins. I'm a big fan of all three. Even the M4A1, uh, sorry, M4A4 Battlestar is actually looking pretty solid in, uh, in CS2. Those effects, again, just popping that little bit more in CS2. Do we get anything? Another £2 case? No, we don't. Oh, the Kumiko Dragon in the background. Is this factory new? I think it's... No, it's not even factory new. Field tested somehow. Looks really clean for field tested. It could be one of those skins that just uh, changes color. Ah, oh. and on to the next one. The revolver case was, I think, generally looked at as a bad move from Valve's side. Everybody hated the revolver. Everyone hated it because it was broken, now nobody really plays it because it's a troll weapon. Do we want the R8 revolver out of it? Probably not. I would much prefer a Star Trek AK-47 point disarray, a much better skin. Yeah, let's see what, what I mean, what, what else can we get? A blue, of course. That's that's what we can get. <laughs> oh man. Minimal wear. Outbreak. This case was 160, by the way. Not worth it. Do not open cases, guys. And now we're on to the shadow cases. This one and the next case we're gonna open are the cheapest ones that we're gonna open up until the end of the video. So this one is 77p, and I believe the Falcon is also 77p, and they were both released one after another. Very unpopular. Shadow daggers also known as the butt plugs. Not many people like them. I know that some people did genuinely enjoy playing with them. Um, the, 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 the knives, not the butt. Anyway, uh, M4A1S, golden coil, let's go. That's, that's what we want. Wow, another, another blue. That makes me sad. But yeah, another interesting thing is that you've got, you had the shadow cases, which introduced, introduced the shadow daggers, and then you've got the falcon case, which introduced, introduced the falcon knife, and they were, again, cases that were very close to each other. I wonder if um, Valve was just kind of experimenting to see whether they could get away with by making new finishes or new knife types, um, like putting a lot of new, new ones out into the market and how that affects the price of the existing ones, but, well... AK-47, Aquamarine Revenge, and Op Hyper Beast are both things that we would really like out of this one. And please, Gaben, give us one good skin, like one red, one good play skin. Oh, not out of this case, I guess. Field tested, Torque. I mean, the, the USPS Torque at least is somewhat valuable in comparison to the other blues. But not what we were looking for. But maybe we will get what we were looking for in the Chroma 2 case. Ooh, we're almost almost finished, almost finished with all the cases, and I still have yet to see anything, anything good at all. 
Of Warm God, Galilei Ariko. I we opened ten of these not so long ago, and I did say I would really like a Galilei Ariko in Star Trek. Hyper Beast. AK-47 Elite Build, Star Trek Factory New, 20 pounds. Let's go. This case, by the way, 230 at the moment on the market. Oh! No! No! Between all the blue, oh, between all the purples and the pink, and then we land on an armor core anyway. And a field tested one at that. <sighs> I was excited at the beginning of this video. But, I mean, uh, all the most exciting cases are yet to be opened. I mean, we've got the Chroma. I do like... I do like the M4A4 Dragon King, AK-47 Cartel, both amazing skins. Just just give me one of them and I'll be happy to be honest. Like nice Star Trek ones. Let's let's get that. Oh no. I pray to you, Gabe, and give me at least one good skin. This 2000 special is not gonna be great if uh, if all we get is just blues and purples and a single pink. And now we hit another Operation case, and this time it's Operation Vanguard. I don't recall Vanguard being after Breakout and uh, Phoenix, but I, gu I guess it must have been. M4A4, uh, M4A1 is Basilisk, AK-47 Wasteland Rebel. I wouldn't mind that P2000 Fire Elemental, a nice Star Trek P2000 play skin would be, would be pretty good. Come on, hit me. Hit me again with uh, with another shitty skin. Oh, thank God. G3 SG1, minimal wear, murky. This is rough. This is rough. I forgot to mention the Vanguard case was 258, and now we're on to another super expensive case, and this is the Esports 2014 summer case. Eight pounds and two pence to open one of these. Plus the two pounds for the key itself. And all we get out of it is an AK-47 Jaguar. Historically, this was like one of my favorite skins. I really wanted to have an AK-47 Jaguar as a as a young CSGO player. Back in, uh, I think, 2015, it was already like a coveted skin at the time. I, I would like one of those. That's, that's all I ask. That's all I ask, Gabe. Just give me one of those. I mean... That was my second choice. Macton Ultraviolet. <laughs> At least if it, if it was factory new, that would have been cool, but it's well worn. Yikes. Beautiful, beautiful skin. And this case that we're going to open now, I think I have the biggest love hate relationship with it of all the cases I have ever opened. And this is mostly due to my 100th episode special. I remember opening 100 Operation Breakout cases and not getting a single decent thing. I need the butterfly knife more than you know. I've got the the butterfly knife rust and I hate it. I want anything other than that. I want a good butterfly knife skin. But I would settle for the Glock 18 Water Elemental, another really, really cool skin I really am a big fan of. So I wouldn't mind one of those. Come on. This case is super expensive as well, six pounds 30. And it's another blue. Wow. I can't I can't keep hitting these garbage garbage skins. I can't keep hitting them. There has to be something good in one of these boxes. And our fourth last case is going to be the Huntsman weapon case. It's gonna be shortly followed by Phoenix Esports 2013 Winter and the weapon case too, which is our final boss. Oh give give us something good. Historically, I remember out of this one, the USPS Kaiman replaced the USPS Orion, which is again, I think, a top tier skin that I wish I had much cleaner version of it. AK-47 Vulcan and the M4A1S Atomic Alloy, all amazing. And Huntsman knives have gone up in price significantly because they just don't drop out of anything. OG finishes don't drop out of anything else, if I remember correctly. And this case is £8.50 and that's an £8.50 blue that I have just opened out of it. Which is totally, totally looking like it's battle scarred. And it is 0 0.67 float. <laughs> another, another £10 going down the drain. Oh god. 
And now we have a little break before our final two bosses, the Esports 2013 and the Weapon Case 2. The Phoenix Ace. I did manage to get a nice AK-47 red line in minimal wear out of this once. I remember it being worth quite a lot. We still haven't opened an Op Asimov. And at this point, uh, I would really like to at least make some money back. I am not holding a grudge against you, Gaben. 180 pounds is a fair amount to give you. That was a lot of thanks. <sighs> but we land on a purple. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind even getting like 50 pounds back out of one of these skins. Like, just give me something that's that's decent. But we don't have much left. The Esports 2013 Winter Case. I haven't managed to open one of these. I think last time I opened these would have been back in 2015 when they were just a little bit expensive. AK-47 Blue Laminate. Op Electric Hive. Bubble Disruption is a pretty nice one. I think uh, I think that one is... Uh, has got a lot of really cool crafts on it from back in 2014 and there is nothing else really that's good on it let's let's hit it let's see come on please oh not the x-ray oh the ak <laughs> the ak would have been fine the p90 blind spot is uh not definitely not what we want just to uh just out of curiosity is this even worth anything somehow this is worth it worth 850 so we're actually somehow making the cost of the case back with this i mean i'm not gonna complain i suppose is it because it trades up into uh into the op electric hive and the desert eagle cobble disruption i guess so that must be it really so okay we made the cost of the case back at least okay i'll, I'll be selling this to fund more case openings later but now the final boss, Weapon Case 2. And to think that back in 2015, I used to open this semi-frequently. Like, I've got plenty of daily case openings where I try to open this very case. And I even get some good stuff out of it. I remember I got an SSG-08 Blood in the Water one time. So, this mustn't be that bad of a case for me. Ah, uh, 10 pounds. No, 12 pounds. Just for the case. Another 2 pounds for the key. That's 14 pounds to open a blue, an M4A1S Blood Tiger, right? That's what is gonna happen. This is what it's gonna be. N no! The oh, oh ooh. okay. Case hardened. That's that's a kind of kind of good tip, but the wear on this must be horrible. Like it's all scratched up. It's gonna be horrible. No, this is it. It's this is it. It's battle scar. 069. Hey, Lamau. Hey, Lamao is what I'm thinking when I'm thinking about how much money I've spent on this only to get a 5-7 case hardened and a bunch of other crap. Oh no. Yeah, that's almost the cost of the case back. £8.60. If it was, uh, it was a blue gem, would have been worth a lot more. Unfortunately, it is not, so it is not worth a lot more. <laughs> Oh man, what an opening, what an opening. Our best drop unfortunately landed very early on from the Horizon case. If we got a pink from one of the latter cases, it would have been a lot better. But this, by all means, is a, quite a horrendous outcome. Out of what, 35, 34 cases I believe? Yeah, 34 cases I think. We get basically nothing. Basically nothing. But once again, Thank you all very much for supporting me over this uh, many, many years. And hey, here's to many more years. Maybe uh, 4,000, 5,000 subscribers. Maybe I finally get a YouTube partnership. If I do, I'm gonna put all of the money that I get from these case openings back into the community. Bigger giveaways, that is my goal. But for now, make sure to like and comment. Get yourself a chance to win that uh, FAMAS or the AK-47 cold, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.